Welcome to Flash CS6 Tutorial 43 Memory Game Drag and Drop. This tutorial is made for beginners uh, with Flash, meaning I'll go into a fair amount of detail. We're going to start by opening a new FLA. I'm Action Script 3 and I'm keeping the default settings. And opening the main timeline. I'm going to select frame 2 of this layer, insert a blank keyframe, and call this targets, T A R. Going over to pick up my rectangle tool, and I want black for the stroke, that's the outside, and inside I'm going to make it a greenish. Color. I'm going to pick up my rectangle tool. If you don't see a rectangle and you're seeing an oval, click this corner here, rectangle tool. Come over here, hold your shift down and draw. It makes a square. Pick up selection tool, highlight it, right click on it, convert it to a symbol. Make sure movie clip is selected. Make sure you have the center registration clicked and call it TAR underscore MC and copy that name. I click copy it. OK. Open the properties panel here. Paste it in and modify the name. It's going to be TAR1 capital L1 underscore MC. So it's target one for level one. So that's the instance name of that. Close that. Open the library. Grab that. Bring it in again. And bring it in again. So now we have three of those on the board. This one here, if I go back and check it again, it was Tire1L1. Copy that. Select the second one. Open the properties panel. Paste it in. Make it Tire2. L1 and click on this one, open the properties panel, paste it in, and make this one TAR3. Lock this TAR layer, come down here, insert a layer, call it uh, previews, like in looking at it, PREV previews and we want to have three objects in here. Click here, insert a keyframe or blank keyframe. Make sure that is selected. Uh, come over here and I want red here. So I got black for my stroke, red for my fill. I'm picking up my rectangle tool. I'm holding my shift down, making a square here on here. I'm going here, same thing, holding my shift down making a square here. I'm picking up this what's called the selection tool. I'm getting that corner, I got them right angles, and I'm just moving that little dot to the center there. Getting that one there, move it to the center there, so I sort of made it a triangle. And as long as the triangle can cover most of that, we're all right, that's good. And I'm going over to this rec here again, click on it, this time I want the oval tool and come here hold your shift down and make a circle now if you want to make that a little bigger to cover that up if that's something you want to do you highlight it pick up this thing here free transform tool and holding your shift down just grab the corner get those double arrows and pull it a bit and makes that a little bit bigger and now we'll cover it so I have a square a circle and a triangle locking all my layers and I'm leaving this first frame empty for now because that's going to be your introduction page where you're going to put your rules and things select this top layer insert a layer call it action script AS click here insert keyframe or blank keyframe either one doesn't matter open the actions panel I have mine docked here if you don't have it docked here 
Then come up here to Window and Find Action and it opens that panel up. I'm going to give you all the code and then we're going to go through it. Type, 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 type. Stop, STOP, small s turns blue, open, close bracket, semicolon. Var, we're going to make a variable, VAR turns purple. There's a space, count, C O U N T, capital C, colon, number, N U M B E R. As you start to type it, a drop down menu will come. If you see the word number, you can double click on it or you can just type it out. Equals five, semicolon. This is going to tell us how many times we go through through a loop down here so we can count to five seconds. We'll make another variable, VAR. It's called delay, capital D-E-L-A-Y, colon, it's a timer. Capital T-I-M-E-R, timer turns blue. Equals new space timer. New is purple, small n, space, capital timer, T-I-M-E-R, turns blue. Open bracket, one, zero, 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 one thousand, close bracket, semicolon. That's the, um, the rate at which it goes through this timing loop. It's in milliseconds. A thousand milliseconds is a second, so therefore every second is going through this, this loop. And we called this variable delay, this timer, so now we're going to use that as a, 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 to call up an event. So delay period, add event listener, small a, capital E, capital L. That will all turn blue if it's spelt right. Open bracket, it's what's called the timer event, capital T, capital E. That will all turn blue, period. Timer, all uppercase, capital letters, T-I-M-E-R, comma, and I'm calling this time is up, capital T, capital I, capital U, close bracket, semicolon. Now, I want this to go through, the timer would go through by itself, but I'm asking for other things to happen, and, in order, and if I don't have what's called an event listener for the stage with, with an enter frame, it would only happen once, this way here it's going to happen uh, 24 times a second because that's our frame rate. So stage, S-T-A-G-E, small s, turns blue, period. Add event listener. You can copy that add event listener and paste it in here. Open bracket, event, capital E, V-E-N-T, period. This enter underscore frame is all uppercase, capital letters, comma, and I'm calling this function ent frame. Capital E-N-T, capital F-R-A-M-E, close bracket, semicolon. This is calling this function up end frame that we did, just made. Function, end frame. You can copy and paste it in. Open bracket, small e, colon, event. Capital E-V-E-N-T, turns blue. Close bracket, colon, void. Void and function are both purple. And here's an open curly bracket for this function. And... As you start typing, you'll get a closed curly bracket, and if you do, that's that one down here. So the first thing we're going to do when we enter this frame the first time is that variable up here, this timer, delay, capital D-E-L-A-Y, period, start, S-T-A-R-T, turns blue, small s, open, close bracket, semicolon, that starts this timer from work, starts this timer timing. While that is happening, we're going to make a text box. We haven't made it yet. It's called timer underscore text, capital T, period, T-E-X-T. -E this T-E-X-T -E is blue, equals. And this is what's going to con be contained in that, in that uh, timer box, this, this um, text box that we're going to make in a few minutes. Equals, quotation, the count is space quotation. When you see something in quotations, uh, that means them exact words are going to be what appears in the box. So there's a space here. There's a closed quotation. Then plus, count, plus. The word count is a variable that we made up here, and that's a counter. So when it starts off, it's going to say the count is five. Okay. Uh, then we have a, op a quotation mark, and then the word now, and a, a space here. Quotation, space, now, period, close quotation, semicolon. So whatever the count is, that's what's going to be displayed on this. Now, let's look and see what's, what's happening here. 
if, this is a test, if open bracket count equals equals two equals sign zero close bracket. So eventually it's going to go through this timer thing and through it and through it and through it. And each time we're going to make it one less and eventually it will, it will reach zero at which time something's going to take place. So open bracket, this open brackets for this if. Go to and stop, small g, small t, capital A, capital S, turns blue. Open bracket, quotations, lev1 answer, close quotation, close bracket, semicolon. We're going to give a name to a frame, and the name of that frame is going to be lev1 answer, as in level 1 when we do the answer. At the same time, once we reach 0, we don't want this this counter to count anymore. Delay, that's the delay we started up here. Period, stop, STOP, open, close bracket, semicolon. And there's a closed curly bracket for the if, for this if, and there's a closed curly bracket here for this function. Now, under that, when the when the time of the of this 100 milliseconds is up, this is going to be a true thing. Function, time is up, open bracket, E, colon, timer event, capital T, capital E, that turns blue. Close bracket, colon, void, again, void and function are purple. There's the open bracket for the function, there's the close bracket for the function. So every second, every 100 milliseconds, by this up here, this, this timer is up, this, this, this delay, every 100 milliseconds, that's what we said of that, which is a second, we're going to do two things. That delay, that timer, period, reset. R-E-S-E-T, turns blue if it's spelled right, open, close, bracket, semicolon, and each time we go through that, we're going to make that, count, that variable count, C-O-U-N-T, minus, minus, semicolon, which means decrement or take away one. So it's going to start off at 5, then it's going to go 4, 3, 2, 1. Eventually it's going to reach 0, at which time we'll jump to another spot. And if this open curly bracket for the function here, and a closed curly bracket for that function. So when we test it, test movie, if I have no errors, I have an error. And I didn't make that text box yet. Timer text box. Lock all the layers. Select this prev layer, insert a layer. I'll call it text, T-E-X-T. -E Come over, there's a text tool here, here. Select it, open the properties panel. Make sure classic text is selected in this drop down menu. Make sure dynamic text is selected here. I'm using Times New Roman regular, 15 points, and I have a red color, pick whatever color you want, and click this embed. This menu opens up. I want upper, lower, numerals, and punctuations. Click OK. And now we're ready to make my box. So here, click. There it is. Open the properties panel. And I think I called that T-I-M-E-R, shift underscore T-X-T. So Let's go back to that action script here for a minute. And there it is there, timer underscore txt. That's it. Now, one more thing. I don't want that to be on the first frame. So click the first frame here, right click, clear it. Don't remove it, just clear it. So now there's nothing here, and it's going to jump right into here. So let's see if it does that. Control, test movie, test. No errors. Five, four, three, two, one. And now it's going back to zero. Like it's, it, we haven't stopped from counting yet, so that's working. And we got some errors, which I know will take place. If we look in the action script here for a minute, here we say go to and stop on this frame label and we haven't made that frame label so copy that 
right click copy that and that's going to be the next frame so lock all the layers select this text layer insert a layer call it frame f r m l a b frame labels select this third frame insert a blank keyframe open the properties panel it says frame and type in that name so now we have that here right click here on the text layer right click insert a keyframe and I think that will allow us to do that test movie test Five, four, three, two, one, zero. And there we stopped counting. That's zero. And we jump to that frame three. I think that's enough for this video. There's going to be a follow up. It'll be Flash CS6 Tutorial 44 Memory Game Drag and Drop Part 2. If you plan on doing that part two, make sure you save this FLA. Hope you learned something from this tutorial and I hope you use what you learn.